Year Four's trip to the National Maritime Museum. We're going to leave the school through the main entrance and turn left on Baisden Road. We're going to go to the end of the road and then we're going to turn left again and take us up the road, past the trees, past the houses. You're going to keep going in a nice straight line, nice and quietly, till we reach that corner and then we're going to turn left again. We're just going to follow the natural bend of the road going up the hill. This bit's a bit steep, but we'll make it. Then we're going to get to this crossing. We need to be sensible and wait for our turn to cross. Looking right at this point, we get to the middle and then we look left. And we're going to cross the road and go to the heath. We're going to go through this natural pathway here and keep walking past All Saints Church. And then we're going to keep going across the heath until we reach a sensible path. When we get to the path, we're going to follow the path nice and carefully. We're going to get to the corner here. We're going to turn right. There might be cars here, but we'll turn past these cars all the way round and then keep walking straight until we get to this path. At this path, we keep walking past the centrepiece. Mrs Budden did a picture here one year. Then we're going to get to these traffic lights and we need to pay attention when we get here, making sure we're listening to the adults and crossing when it's our time. We're going to cross that road and make our way into Greenwich Park. And once we're in there, we're not going to get any ice cream. Once we're in there, we're going to keep walking, trying to keep to the left. We've got to get into the park first. That's it. So once we're into the park, try and keep on the left side, walking straight ahead. We keep walking. We're going to get to a point we turn the corner and walk down the hill. When we get down to the bottom of the hill, we see those lovely gates. Because of construction, we're going to go through these gates and out of the park, but then we're going to turn right back into the park past this fence. So once we're past that fence, we go through this gate and then we're in the path that's going to lead us to the National Maritime Museum. We'll see the signs welcoming us to the museum. And once we get there, we go past the ship in the bottle. When you're with your family, you can go there, but we're going to go past and through these gates. Once we go through these gates, we're going to take a left and go through these columns. So we'll go through these columns and admire the wonderful architecture. And then there are going to be two sets of steps. We'll go down the first set of steps and then down the second set of steps. And we'll keep walking ahead towards where the bus is, but obviously not that far. We keep walking until we see a corner to turn. We'll turn that corner, keep walking. And then on our left will be the National Maritime Museum. Uh, there may be other schools there, there may not be. We may be met by a museum employee. We'll then go to the group space area where we can put our coats and bags. And this is also where we'll be eating our lunch. Another space that we'll visit is the lecture hall to do our Polar Explorers workshop. And we'll all be sitting in these seats here, different classes at a time. Um, another place we need is the second floor gallery so we can go to the Polar Worlds exhibit. So we need to go up these stairs. You can see they're quite narrow, so we need to keep to the left, go up to the first floor, then up to the second floor, and we'll make our way there as quietly and as sensibly as we can. So we want Polar Worlds and All Hands Children's Gallery. And you can see they're signposted here for the second floor. When we get to the second floor, we'll turn left and the gallery will be waiting for us.
As you can see, there's lots of things to see and to read, and there's even a trail that you can do. There's a worksheet that could be filled out for you to do as well. And lots of interesting things to look at, like this lovely Lego. So once you've finished in there, the next stop is the All Hands Children's Gallery. Some of you may have been here before with your families, but today we're here as a school. There may be other children here, so we need to be mindful of our behaviour and share the resources fairly. As you can see, there are lots of activities to be involved in and just make sure you have a good time. Read the signs and see what you're supposed to do and take advantage of this wonderful opportunity that you have. This is a bit of Morse code using lights. See if you can have a go at that. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be a good trip and I want you to enjoy yourselves. And the last thing we need to do is make sure that we've all visited the toilets before we leave.